Here we want to perform the indicated operation of addition. In order to do so, we need a common denominator. These denominators look very similar, and so what we might notice is they are actually opposite. In other words, the x here is positive, the 3 is negative. Here the 3 is positive, the x is negative. What that means is if I multiply 3 by a negative 1, these two will reverse, and I'll have the same denominator. However, I can't just multiply the denominator by negative 1, so I also multiply the numerator by negative 1. When I do that, well, the first fraction is remaining the same. But what I would have is negative x minus 5 in the numerator, and this would become negative 3 plus x, which is the same as x minus 3. The x would become positive, and the 3 would become negative. So now I can see that I have a common denominator of x minus 3, and so if I add the numerators, I can simplify. Keeping my common denominator of x minus 3, I've got a negative x, and I've got a 4 minus 5, which is a minus 1. So I have negative x minus 1 over x minus 3. I want to point out that someone else could have instead chosen to multiply the first fraction by negative 1 over negative 1. If that had happened, your common denominator would have been 3 minus x. That would have been the opposite of this, which means your numerator would also have been the opposite. So a positive x plus 1 over 3 minus x would be another equivalent solution. But this solution is certainly correct.